uh, June the 1st. June the 1st in uh, Prince of Rhode Island here. I'm going to uh, take a drive down one of the single lane dirt roads with nothing really on it. It's next to a place called Ben's Lake, if anybody wants to look that up on the internet. Scenic Heritage Road, Klondike Road. I don't know why it's called Klondike Road. I, we might be in Bellevue, because I've seen a sign that said Bellevue, but the names change kind of quick here for areas. So. I don't think I, I can't really get a picture of uh, <clears throat> Ben's Lake area. Maybe I can do that. Yeah, kind of really hard to see, but it's uh you do some fishing out there and stuff it's the lake is part of a campground style uh, place might have a couple cabins i didn't really look it up on uh, on the internet but uh, i know it's a peaceful place but uh, the main focus on uh, this uh single lane red dirt road on the prince of rhode island it's on the eastern part of prince of rhode island kings county Looks like we had some rain here, and I'm going to be covered with mud, probably. Might be some mud holes. Yeah, I see a cabin over there, like a pointed roof one. So that's probably rentable. Might hit some traffic on here. As you'll notice, there's not really room for two cars. Makes it awkward. Everyone's kind of used to driving on them, though, that drives on them. muddy today. I'd rather do it in the sun, but I think it's working. It looks really green to me. To me. Should be a lot of green on the film. Well, recording, not really film, I guess. I'm not driving too fast in the dirt. It's kind of rough and I could run, you know, I could meet a vehicle or a four-wheeler or something. It's probably nice back here in a four-wheeler. I guess you can drive. I don't know if you can really drive these. Or supposed to drive these dirt roads in the four wheeler, I don't know. It's still an actual highway. Yeah, this is a lot of green. We had a rain, and uh, yeah, this is when everything greens up. Woods is really dry that I'm seeing lots of green in it. Yeah, there's one of the reasons there on the camera that uh, it's kind of nice to drive through these is uh, the overhanging trees and stuff. And there's no actual. Uh, a plus on Prince of Rhode Island, there's no actual animals that are going to come out of that woods and try and eat you. <laughs> like there's no bears or cougars or mountain lions or anything. Might be a stray dog come out and try and be friends. There's skunks though. I don't think they're in the day much. Man, skunks are bad when they let go. Uh, I think the biggest thing we have is coyotes. There's a lot of foxes now. So the road is basically, uh, you know, kind of looks like this all the way through, some up and down parts. It's Highway uh, 205, I think it said, but it, it's, you know, obviously it's not a highway, so. Yeah, oh, I didn't really plan on driving through the mud, I guess I didn't think this one out. I mean, the truck's okay, but still didn't plan on driving through the mud. I think it's smoother because of rain now. All the little bumps smooth too. Drive along at 40k, no problem. I think there's another dirt road to the left up here. It's kind of different having dirt road intersections, I think. All red dirt roads. Yeah, I'll look right here if I meet someone. It's, someone's got to back up. That's the only problem with these roads. Well, I not say a problem, but, but there, there's a spot there. I can just back in there if somebody came. Oh yeah, and I wouldn't really recommend driving any vehicles on these that you like the paint on, because like I, I guess that was my aerial hit something on time, but uh, I used to get scrapes down the side of the vehicle sometimes. This road's very open, and that's for driving cars on them. You know, it's like you could drive a car on them, but I don't know if you want to. It 
looks like it's shaking a bit. I hope the video's not going to work too bad. Oh, this is pretty cool looking right there. I don't think it's very long. This maybe seven, seven or eight minutes. Got a nice speed going at 40k too. Yeah, like see that? I just drove over that branch. Yeah, you don't want to do that if you have a something that you really like to paint on. Or you'd be more careful the little stuff can fly up you drive over too and hit the hit the side. Wow, that looks really nice. I can take a picture of this with my uh I can get a picture of her. Put a few pictures on Instagram, so. Oh, it looks kind of nice. When I say few, I literally mean a few. <laughs> that was a picture uh, drive by. So you should check and see if that works. Oh, that looks nice. Nice and green, yeah. Whoa, look at this, property for sale. Not a place you plan on living in the winter though. Kevin Quinn, Remax, 902-629-0201. And if you wanted to see what this was, you would look on uh, Highway 205, or the Klondike Road. And like I said, I think it's in Bellevue, but I'm not sure because, you know, they don't post uh, region separation signs everywhere, in, like on this road, for example. I guess I'm not quite done of it. This road, I thought it was a little bit shorter. Yeah, pretty nice day for June the 1st. It's not, uh, it's not sunny, but it's also perfect temperature. That's a good one there. Yeah, whatever temperature it is here. Let me stop for a second. This is the best part about these roads. You can just stop and uh, have a look-see. Probably need a big farm tractor or something. Oh, temperature, come on. Temperature. Do I have anything down here? Uh oh. I don't think I have enough internet to get the temperature. Oh well, we'll do it at the end of the road. Yeah, I think this is one of the nicer things, relaxing things for Prince Edward Island. It's, uh, single lane dirt roads, but like I say again, you might not want to drive your car down here, because this just got kind of rough. But yeah, it's one of the things I think is kind of interesting, and uh, you're not going to worry about bears or anything, so that's a plus. Yeah, I always thought that should have been a selling point for Prince Edward you know, come to be, yeah, uh, there's nothing that will eat you in the woods. Yeah, there's no real snakes here that I'm aware of either. Nasty snakes. We might have something, but I, I'm not aware of it. Hornets and bees and wasps. Okay. Pretty good road to 49. I see some cleared off spots on the left. I think the mosquitoes have started though. So. I don't know if any, anybody's ever heard of June bugs. Uh, not anybody, but I mean, there's probably people that never heard of June bugs. And then uh, these little, like, brown beetles that fly around in uh, June. So that's why they're called June bugs here, I guess. Yeah, they're kind of weird. Weird little bugs fly right on you all over. Don't do anything, though. Just, just scare people. <laughs> yeah, so that left turn is another... Uh, Dirt road intersection or dirt road somewhere. Okay, this might be like a 12 minute road then. Wait a minute, the road's dry here. Huh, well. I don't know if this would be good for bicycles. I don't think I'd want a bicycle on. Bicycles are really fun downhill. That thing's still in focus. I hit a bunch of bumps. Oh, 
think it's in focus, is it? Eh. It's really hard to see sometimes. Yeah, it doesn't like the bright sky and the dark ground that it goes out of focus. I did throw away a few videos. Wow, all I see is like almost black screen. Oh well. I guess I'll look at the end. Might have to edit it. Yeah, this is kind of rough here. It seems to be recently washed out from that rain. And yeah, uh, it, it'd be private land on the left and right too. It wouldn't. It wouldn't be a crown or government-owned land that I'm aware of. Seward Island doesn't have very much government-owned land. Like, if you go across the, to the mainland where New Brunswick is, there's a lot of government-owned land in New Brunswick. There must be a million miles of four-wheeler trails over there. You can live in New Brunswick with just a four-wheeler from what I can tell. straight I would end up uh, on the south shore oh yeah I forget the mention we're going like so slightly southwest well the sign says west over there too so. uh, if I turn left on this road I'd go ex literally straight to Wood Island Ferry and if I turn right uh, I'd go to like Orwell and basically uh, Charlottetown which is where I'm going to be going it's, uh, I'll just pull across the road before you do yeah, so yeah, we're on 205 West. And that dirt road. See, this is what happens here is a good example. We're on that little road that we just came through. This road at one point looked like the road we were just on. So until it needs to be developed, it, it stays in the state of that little uh, dirt road. There's also roads all over Pittsburgh Island that aren't even roads that uh, just got uh, farmed over or grown over. And uh, they're still there, they're still listed as government owned. So. Well, I guess that's uh, creeping up at the time, so I'll see you in the next video.